Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the monthly payment for a mortgage, in particular an adjustable rate mortgage. After you watch this video, if you have any follow-up questions or if you have questions about another topic, you can always post them in the comments section below. Let's get started. The basic idea of an adjustable rate mortgage is just that the interest rate changes periodically. In this case, the beginning balance is $85,000. The term of the loan is 20 years. The initial index rate is 7.7%. The margin is 2.3%. The adjustment period is one year and the adjustment index rate is 9.2%. The bank is going to base the interest rate on a certain published index percentage and they're going to add to that a margin of 2.3%. So at the start of the loan, the index rate is 7.7, .7, the margin is 2.3, so at the start of the loan, we're going to have a 10% interest rate. After one year, the adjustment index rate is 9.2%, and our interest that we pay is gonna go up. Let's start by finding the initial monthly payment. In this example, we're going to use a formula to find the monthly payment, and that formula is all R equals capital P times R over 12 over 1 minus 12 over 12 plus R to the 12 T. You may notice that in other YouTube videos that a different version of this formula is used and that shouldn't discourage you. It'll work the same way. So the interest rate little r, as we already mentioned, is going to be the sum of 7.7% plus 2.3%, which gives us 10%, but in decimal form. So I've replaced little r with 0.1. We're replacing P, the principal, with 85,000, and T, the time, with 20 years. Now's the hard part, plugging this into your calculator. So I'm gonna do this using the calculator on my computer. So one of the things you really need to pay attention to when you're trying to evaluate an expression on a calculator is order of operations. Notice that in the numerator, we have 85,000 being multiplied by 0.1 divided by 12. Multiplication and division are really the same operation. The order in which these operations operations occur, it doesn't really matter. So that makes the numerator a lot easier to calculate. So what I usually like to do is to focus my attention on the more complicated part of the expression. In this case, the denominator, the bottom of the big fraction, where we have, for example, 12 over 12 plus 0 0.1. So that has division and addition in it. And that fraction bar is telling us that the addition is grouped. So that has to occur first. These parentheses tell us that we have to perform this division before we can raise to a power. Within the power, this multiplication has to occur before we can also exponentiate, raise to a power. And then we have to subtract the result of all of that from one. So I'm gonna do all of this and I'm gonna use my calculator's memory function. Now in your standard Texas Instruments calculator, every time you hit equals, your calculator is going to retain that last answer. And you have an ANS button button on your calculator, which you can also use as your memory function. So what I'm going to do first is working inside the innermost parentheses in the denominator. I'm going to go ahead and add the 12 plus 0.1 in my head. That's 12.1. That's one less set of parentheses I need to worry about. So 12 divided by 12.1 equals, I need to raise this number, that's the value in parentheses, to the power of 12 times 20. That's 240. So I'm just going to raise it x to the y to the 240th power hit equals. I want to subtract 1 minus this number. So one way to do that would be to hit memory plus. That's just going to save that value. And then I'm going to hit 1 minus and I'm going to recall that value. Memory recall MR. And that equals 0.863 and so on. This is the whole denominator. Okay, now I'm going to clear out the old memory. I'm going to add in memory plus. I'm going to add in this whole denominator value. Now I'm going to go ahead and calculate the numerator and then divide it by that value by recalling it from the memory. So I'm going to have 85000 times 0.1 divided by 12 equals, and that's my numerator, and I'm going to divide that value by what I saved in my memory. That's equal to 820.268, so and so on. We're always in financial math, we're gonna round off to the nearest cent, $820.27. Watch part two to find out how to calculate the monthly payment for the second adjustment period. Leave your questions in the comments section below. 